In this video, we're going to be taking one image and we're going to be creating a repeating pattern with that one image. Hey everybody, my name is Margaret. Welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. I'm creating a playlist of videos on how to create sublimation print for whether you're using this for Printful or something else, but I made a really cool dress using the sublimation print and um, it's up on Printful. So in this series of videos, I'm going to have everything from setting up your Printful account to how to integrate it with Etsy and also different ways to create a sublimation print because there are a few different ways and there might be different um, things you're trying to create. And so I'm going to be creating each in its own separate video. So if you're interested in checking those out, make sure to check out the playlist and to save it to your watch later or whatever print on demand um, playlist that you may have saved so that you can find it when you need it. In this video, we're going to be taking one image and we're going to be creating a repeating pattern with that one image. Please stay tuned in the playlist if you're wanting to create repeating patterns or different ways to manipulate the patterns for what you're looking for. But we're gonna start off really simple. And I wanna let you guys know if you are proficient with Illustrator, um, try to stay patient because I am gonna show the long way around for people who are not as familiar with Adobe Illustrator as others might be. So if you know shortcuts, then go ahead and use those. But I am gonna just show the, the long way around so that everybody is able to be successful at doing this. Make sure when you go to sign up for Printful and Etsy that you use my links down below that uh, lets Printful know that I'm the one that sent you and also on Etsy it gives you 40 free listings. So uh, make sure you use those down below. I really appreciate it. Thanks so much. So you may or may not have an image that you want to use or a piece of clip art that you want to use. So a site I like to use is Graphics Factory. It is okay for commercial use. It is a paid site, but it's got all kinds of graphics on there. You want to make sure that you use something that is compatible for Adobe Illustrator and you want to make sure it's a vector because you're going to be scaling it bigger, smaller, and things like that. So I thought it'd be fun to start with a hamburger. So I've got this one here that I'm going to use and I'm going to download the EPS file onto my computer. So that's ready to go. All right, come over and open Adobe Illustrator and select File and New. We're going to create a square. I have a square three by three and I'm going to create that. So over here, three inches by three inches and there we go. So let me move this. Um, one thing that you need to know, especially if you're new with an illustrator is that yes, this looks white, but when you're creating a pattern, when you're creating something on an artboard, it is transparent. I'll show you what I mean by that in a little bit. So the, one of the ways you can bring your image in, is to come up to file, select file, go down to place, and then find your image over on your computer. It's going to be like this. So you'll start in a spot and you'll drag like a square. You're going to drag, kind of drag and drop. So you're dragging down to create a rectangle, place the item. So now I've got my hamburger, but you see this big X across it. So basically it's saying that this uh, lives somewhere else, basically. I'm sure there's a more technical term, but we want this to live here. So we're going to select this button right here, embed, and that will take that X away. So now we've got this image here. So now we want to create a this hamburger as a pattern. We want to use just this one thing over and over and over again on a shirt or a dress or whatever, pillow. So I'm going to come over here and make sure I've got my selection tool clicked or selected and it's going to create this rectangle box around everything and I'm going to make it bigger. When you do that, select shift and then grab the corner and drag it and don't freak out if you mess up because watch if you click, if you're on a Mac and you click command Z or you can go to edit undo then it will undo what you just did. So let's say you forgot to click shift, click shift before you did it and you're like, oh my gosh, I made it all squishy and weird. Just go and click command Z or come up and click edit undo. It's totally okay and it will go back to the way it was, okay? So don't freak. <laughs> so again, I'm gonna select this. There's always a way to work backwards. And then I'm gonna make it bigger, just like that. Now, something to keep in mind if you're using this for Printful, they require, they don't want a, a, a transparent background for their um, sublimation. So you want it to be 
on a white background or um, a different color background, but it's okay to save the pattern, the swatch as a transparent because you may be creating like something that's pink or something that's green. And if you save it out with a white background right now, then your pattern's gonna have a white background no matter where you put it. So you can do it either way or both ways. I'll show you. So here we've got our hot dog. I'm gonna scoot him down over here. I mean, really, it didn't really matter how big I made him because what I'm gonna do is I'm going, see how he's still selected? No, it's not he. I'm gonna take my finger press down on my mouse and I'm gonna drag him over to where this swatch um, panel is. Now let's say the swatch panel's not there and you're like, I don't see that, where is that? All right, so to find the swatch panel, what you're gonna do is come over and click these little boxes over here. If you click stroke, that'll pop up and then you can click back to fill and then click swatches. And then you can direct, make sure this arrow is still selected, come and create a rectangle around the item and then you will take it and you'll just drag it and drop it over and you'll see it land right there. It's so tiny, but it's landed right there. Now I'm going to delete this hot dog out. So I'm going to take it away. But you see he's still way over here. Um, one thing to do also at this point is I like to save the swatch in my, in my library. What this does is that, let's see, hamburger. Burger, that's spelling burger, right? I'm going to save that there so that if I'm creating another, I open up another window, it's going to be there. It won't, you know, be gone or not show up or something like that. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is come over here. I'm going to click on this. I want to see what my pattern looks like. Come back to my swatches. You see my hamburger's still there. Now I'm going to create a rectangle. There's two ways to do this. You can just create a rectangle like that and then select the hamburger to fill it in. Or, remember I can Command Z to go backwards. Or I can select the hamburger first and then create, you know, this. And I can see it. And I'm making it really big on purpose to kind of make a point. Oops, I forgot to click the corner. <laughs> um, I'm making it big on purpose to make a point to show you guys what's happening with our hamburger pattern. It's ginormous. Oh my gosh, this isn't working. So what I want to do, if it's too big, then I'm going to come over to object, transform, scale, and then I can scale this. I want to select uniform. That means it's going to happen to everybody. And I'm going to select 50%. So that makes it 50% smaller. Now it's important here that you are transforming the pattern not the object. So let me show you what happens if we don't deselect this transform object, then the whole thing is going to get smaller. Okay, like that. Your whole square gets smaller. Your hamburgers get smaller too. So I'm going to Command Z, go back, object, transform. I'm going to click scale and I want to just transform the pattern and I want to make it 50% smaller, so 50 horizontally and 50 vertically, all the way around, okay. So there's my pattern. I'm not ready to upload it or anything yet or put it out there because if you notice, they're like right on top of each other and this may be the effect that you're looking for. Let me make it a little bit smaller again. So when I, ref when I scale it again, I'm going to leave 50%. So it's just going to make it 50% smaller of what it is already. So click OK. So if this is exactly what you are trying to do, then you are ready to move on to your printful design. So that'll be in a separate video. But if you are wanting to adjust the way your pattern looks, then stay tuned for the next video. Make sure you check out the playlist and I will show you how to adjust this pattern, spread out the hamburgers to rotate them to do different things that you can do to those. Don't forget you guys, I've got two links down below. One is for signing up for Printful and the other one is to get your 40 free listings for Etsy. Thanks for checking out the video, everybody. Go down there and leave it a thumbs up and leave me a comment and let me know what you thought. Was it clear? Did you understand? Or was there something I need to elaborate on? I really appreciate you coming to check it out and I'll talk to you later. Bye.